Welcome to Danny Designs, I'm Danny Level 100 and today I'm going to talk to you about the Cuphead tutorial. As always, this video is not meant to be an attack on anyone at Studio MDHR or VentureBeat. This video is just my observations and opinions. And as many of you are aware by now of the infamous VentureBeat video where one of their journalists struggled with the tutorial, this of course led to a lot of debate on social media, many people were very critical of the video, and there was a conversation to be had about it. The thing that I want to focus on, however, is the design of the tutorial. Was it adequate? Did he get the job done? Was this completely the error of the player, or could the game designers have done a better job with the tutorial? I intend to answer these questions and give you my opinions. With all that being said, let's get right to it. Amongst a torrent of people, I did see other game developers chiming in. One of my friends and fellow indie devs did mention that this gameplay reflected 90% of home play, which got me thinking, there's definitely something wrong with this tutorial. I rewatched the video of the tutorial and after getting my hands on it, I realized that it was unlike anything else inside of Cuphead. It lacked presentation, it was very bare bones. With all due respect, the tutorial does feel a bit like an afterthought. Let's take a look at the original video. As you can see, we have some obstacles with some instructions written on the walls. And I've seen many people point this out, saying that the instructions are clearly written on the walls. The issue I have with this though, is that if you're a game designer, you know that you have to communicate things to the player as clear as possible. You need to make it very, very obvious. And I know some people would argue that too many games these days hold your hand, and Cuphead is about skill and not about holding your hand, but I find that to be very counterintuitive in a tutorial that needs to just give you the training wheels before they yank them off. So one thing I do want to draw attention to is I was able to pull up and find an original tutorial from 2015's E3. One thing you'll notice in all of these tutorials is that they don't really teach the player how and when to use their abilities. This leads me to believe that Cuphead has kind of struggled with teaching the basic game mechanics. There's a few things I want to focus on that I think the current tutorial does not teach the player. The EX attack and the parry, I think those are the ones that people don't necessarily seem to understand. To teach the player the duck, the game instructs the player to press down underneath a dotted line. But how can we improve on that? What I would propose is we have a wall with a cannon. And that cannon will fire a quick burst of cannonballs that would force the player to duck if they want to keep going. They would have to walk, duck, walk, and duck. And once they get to the cannon, they just simply jump over it. This should be an effective way to teach the player how they can utilize the duck during gameplay. For the parry tutorial, I want it to be very simple. The current parry tutorial we have now, yeah, it teaches you to jump and do the parry slap, but it doesn't teach you how to use it during gameplay. My quick fix is we have another wall with another cannon this cannon will fire out a projectile at the player. Every now and then, an additional projectile will come out and it will be pink, which means it can be parried. And using this pink projectile, the player can parry slap off of it to jump over the cannon. We're teaching the player what the parry slap does, how he can use it to get away from projectiles, but also to get over obstacles. We also reinforce in the player's head that pink projectiles can be parried. For my EX tutorial, it'd be very simple. Cuphead would walk up to a large bullseye. When you fire at it with your pea shooter, it will ignite only the center and maybe a little bit of the outer ring, but the third ring will remain white. The tutorial will explain that you need to build up your super meter so you have an EX attack. It will then allow you to fire your EX attack at the bullseye. When it makes contact, all three of the rings of the bullseye will light up and then it will explode, allowing the player to continue forward. Overall, I think these little changes to help explain the game mechanics will go a long way. If you're one of those people that say the writing on the wall was clear enough, I would argue it wasn't as clear as it could be. If you want the directions written on the wall, I would suggest bright and bold neon signs that will undeniably attract the eye of any player. 
So you might be saying to yourself that you're making all these changes based off what essentially was a bunk test. A bunk test is when you get somebody who is not familiar at all with video games to play test your game and all the information they give you, all the feedback, is bunk. It doesn't really help you, it doesn't inform you on decisions to improve or fix your game. But I would like to point out that if you are a game designer or thinking about becoming a game designer and your immediate reaction was to blame the player and not even consider that the tutorial can be enhanced, you might want to take a step back and think about it again. So that is my idea on how to make the Cuphead tutorial better than what it is right now. Do you think my way is a little too on the nose, a little too simple? Or do you think that you have some other ways and suggestions on how to make it better? The whole point of this video was just to say that we could have made it better. If you have any suggestions on how you would approach this problem, let me know in the comment section. Tweet at me or even visit me at my Twitch stream and we can talk about it. And I want to say a big thank you to everybody who watched the video. I know this has been a, a long time coming, but if you need more Danny Level 100, the easiest thing you can do is follow me at Twitter at Danny Level 100, twitch.tv slash DannyLV100, and visit DannyLevel100.com for more content. Once again, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Goodbye. How fast was that? Was that a record?